So today what we have is a Fender Aerodyne Special Stratocaster. If you're not familiar with this line, these are the Made in Japan guitars, and they're built as a contemporary take on the typical Stratocaster model. So let's talk about the ins and outs of this guitar and talk about maybe how it's a little bit different than your typical Strat. In terms of construction, the guitar body is made out of basswood, which is an interesting choice. When I think of basswood, I used to typically think things like Ibanez and other guitars that are meant for higher gains playing. Um, but basswood is a pretty neutral tone wood, uh, similar to alder, which is what most strats are made out of. So I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Uh, the body shape is typical strat. You do have this binding, which means you don't get a uh, forearm contour here. So it's not quite as comfortable as your typical strat. On the back, you got your typical belly cut, and you've got your normal kind of four bolt uh, neck join. If they're going to do a contemporary strat, I would have preferred that they do the more modern neck join that's like on the American Performer and I think on the Ultras as well, but this is fine. In terms of the neck, you've got a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Uh, the, the maple neck is satin finished on the back, and the shape is kind of your standard modern C, so not super chunky, uh, but not super thin either. One difference from a typical strat is the nut width is 43 millimeters, so it's a little bit wider than a normal Strat. Like a vintage spec would be 42, so it does make a difference in terms of the string spacing. Uh, the fretboard feels really good. The fretwork is nice. The, the edges almost feel rolled. It's, it's that smooth. So for the headstock, you've got a painted headstock on the front here. Not my favorite, but it looks pretty good. Um, you've got locking tuners. They are not staggered, so you still have a string tree. And overall, the guitar fit and finish is really well done. It feels very well put together. There's no kind of gaps in anything. Like I said, the fretwork is really good. So the quality of this guitar is, is really nice. In terms of the hardware, I mean, first you can notice there's no pick guard. So the pickups are mounted direct to body. You have your typical five-way switch, volume, tone for the neck and middle pickup, and tone dedicated to the bridge. The bridge is very interesting. Um, so these saddles, I forget what they call them, but they're intended to increase the connectivity between the strings and the body to supposedly increase resonance. I don't know whether they work that way, but they are kind of interesting. Um, I'll do a close-up of the bridge here so you can see it. One of the interesting things is the adjustment of it is kind of a two-step process if you want to adjust the height of the saddle for the string. Is you have to loosen one bolt so that you can then use the other bolt to adjust it up and down. And it's not an up and down kind of like this. It's more of a rotation. And it's, it's pretty easy to do once you know how to do it. It's a little harder than doing so on your typical saddles in terms of getting the whole bridge set up. Because a lot of times on a typical bridge, you're just raising them up and down. And you can kind of eyeball the curvature of the saddles and kind of put it in sync with the curvature of the neck. Here, you've got to adjust it, try it out, is it right, adjust it. So it's, it's much more trial and error than kind of visually being able to set the height. Um, I will also mention that the neck is a 12-inch radius. So not super flat, but definitely flatter than your typical fender. So let's go ahead and plug this in and hear how it sounds. So for AMP today, what we're going to do is we're going to run this through my quad cortex. I have a basic preset with a Mesa Boogie Lone Star as a clean tone. And then I got a couple of pedals in front of it. I've got a J Rocket HRM, which is kind of a Dumble clone. And then I also have a Nux uh, Klon clone to kind of put in front of it. So we'll stack some pedals. We'll hear how it sounds with gain and without. So we'll start with the clean tone and we'll start on the neck pickup. So a nice... A nice bell-like strat tone. Not super low output, but not too hot either. These pickups in some way remind me of the pickups in the PRS SE version of the Silver Sky. Um, it's been a while since I played that guitar, so I may be misremembering, but they, they sound similar. They're, they've got a little more output, a little more warmth, but they're still very kind of stratty. So I like them quite a bit. If we go to the in-between position, you get a nice quack. And then our middle pickup. So 
There's some nice in-between sounds on the two as well. And then our bridge. I mean, it's nice and bright, but it's not too ice picky. We can always roll the tone back a little bit. Which is nice. I always like on a strat when you can roll the tone on the bridge back, just maybe the nine or eight, just to take a little bit of that edge off. So let's try out a little bit of gain. Let's add just the clone clone from Nux. And we'll start on the neck pickup. between position. So it's nice. You can give it some gain and it still kind of retains its strattiness. Let's try the two position. It's a nice kind of real stratty kind of sound. Let's give it a little more gain. I'm going to engage the uh, Hot Rubber Monkey from J-Rock. So this is more of a dumble. stacking the two together and we will get even more gain. So on the neck pickup with that much gain, it's a real nice singing kind of tone. And even on the lower notes, it's got a decent amount of clarity. I mean, which is impressive because the dumble kind of with its mid-rangey kind of thing, it can get a little muddy down low. So let's try the... Uh, the between positions are nice too. A little bit of harmonics there. I really like 
like this guitar. Uh, I mean, price-wise, it's priced kind of in the Made in Mexico range. I think it lists for about a thousand, um, but I know lately they've been having deals on them. You can get them for a couple hundred less than that. So, in terms of the quality you're getting and the tone and the playability, um, I would be hard pressed to recommend any of the Made in Mexico over this one. Um, the pickups sound really good. They're nice and warm, but they still have a very stratty kind of sound to them. Um, like I said, the fit and finish is really well done. The neck is very comfortable. Um, the fret work is nice. You know, nice medium jumbo frets, so not too big, but not too small. Kind of the whole guitar feels very in between. It's in between a vintage Strat and kind of more of a modern Super Strat. And I think it works really well. The tuning stability is really nice. It's comfortable to play. I think overall, if you're looking for Strat, especially if you're kind of coming for more of a Super Strat kind of thing and you want to kind of get a little vintage but not too much, I think this is a great choice. So I think if you're looking in this price range for a Strat style guitar, so if you're looking at some of the upper tier made in Mexico, or if you're thinking about the Schechter Nick Johnston, or even the SC Silver Sky, which is maybe a little more vintage than this one, but generally I think this plays in that space, and I think it compares well to those guitars. So if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think, and as always, thanks for watching.